Hi, I'm Blake from BA Electronics, and have you ever wanted to 3D scan something? Well, I have too, but the prices of 3D scanners these days have really put me off of that. Well, if you have an Xbox 360, you're in luck. Well, at least the Kinect for it. The Xbox 360 Kinect can actually function as a 3D scanner. I'll show you exactly how to make it do that. So the first thing you'll need is the Xbox 360 Kinect. This method also may work with other models of the Kinect. The next thing you'll need is some 3D scanning software. The software I'm using is called Skinect, and you can find a free download link in the video description. The next thing you'll need to do is find a suitable object for 3D scanning. Try to find an object with as least geometry as possible, because the Kinect cannot distinguish a lot of detail from its infrared sensor. For the best scanning environment, set up a platform about chest height, and then of course place your object on top of it. Next, make sure there is plenty of light illuminating your object. Then, plug in the scanner. I recommend using a USB extension cable, as you will be moving the scanner around the room. And finally, to finish setup, open the Skinect app and set your scene to object. The way I usually scan my objects with this method is to go once around the object at about chest height. Then, move your sensor slightly down and do another scan completely around the object. Then do the same thing but move the sensor higher and scan the top of the object. You might also want to go over the high detail parts of the object once again to make sure you definitely did not miss any spots on the object. Once you're done scanning, there's a few things you'll need to do before you export this or 3D print it or whatever. First, use the fill holes tool to make sure there are not any holes in your model. Next, you'll probably want to remove the ground plane of your scan. Use the move and crop tool to crop out the ground plane and then delete it altogether. If you're exporting this rather than printing it, you might want to colorize your model. Use the colorize tool to add the colors from the 3D scanner into your scan. And finally, you can use the share tool to export your model. You can export it as a PLY, OBJ, STL, or VRML file. The only problem is, if you don't pay for this software, is limited to 5,000 faces in the export. You can use the Sketchfab option to upload your model to the Sketchfab website. Shapeways is for 3D printing. You can only use this feature if you have a Shapeways account, which is not free. So that's basically how to 3D scan with the Xbox Connect. Hope you enjoyed this video, like it, and subscribe to the channel, and hope this helped you. See ya.